There appears to be an update on the status of Kylie Ray with Impact Wrestling after her absence from the Bound for Glory pay-per-view this past weekend. Now, Kylie Ray missing the Bound for Glory event this past Saturday in Nashville, Tennessee was a big headline over the past weekend and a new report on her status with Impact Wrestling has surfaced. Now, of course, Kylie Ray did not appear at Bound for Glory on Saturday and Impact Wrestling promoted the Kylie Ray vs. Gianna Perazzo Impact Wrestling Knockouts Championship match right up until the match was scheduled to take place. Instead of Kylie Ray appearing, though her music hit, there was no Kylie Ray. Instead of Kylie Ray appearing, Sue Young took her place and defeated Deonna Perazzo to become the brand new Impact Wrestling Knockouts Champion. Now, a new report has been provided by the guys over there at Fightful using their Patreon service, Fightful Select. If you haven't signed up to it, be sure to sign up to it. A lot of great information comes out of that. Fightful have reported that there is no heat, no bad feeling, no ill will towards Kylie Ray from the side of Impact Wrestling. In fact, Impact Wrestling does hope that Kylie Ray can return to the promotion in the near future or at least some point in the future. Now, Impact Wrestling kept a lot of the storyline open-ended at the tapings this past week that we've seen the start of on Access TV. In fact, Impact Wrestling are hoping, the reason why they've kept this storyline so open-ended is because they hope that Kylie Ray can make the November 17th through November 20th tapings. However, Impact Wrestling is not pressuring her to do so. They are saying that she can she can attend if she wishes, but only if she feels comfortable and ready to perform. They're not insisting that she attends or anything of the sort. Now, Kylie Ray reportedly did not give an explanation as to why she was absent from the Bound for Glory pay-per-view this past Saturday and just, quote, disappeared. However, when she was contacted after the show, she was said to be, quote, physically fine, but no other mention was made about her mental state at the time. Now, I mentioned that Impact have held the Post Bound for Glory tapings. We saw the first episode of that this past week on Access TV. On this week's episode of Impact, it was suggested in storyline that something happened to Kylie Ray with Deonna Perrazzo's barrister R.D. Evans suggesting that Sue Young may have had something to do with it. As I mentioned, the plans are right now to keep this storyline open-ended in case Kylie Ray can return at the next set of tapings, even though there is no pressure for Kylie Ray to do so. According to this report by Fightful Select, as I mentioned, there is no bad blood between Kylie Ray and Impact Wrestling. It is said that the company remains hopeful that she will be able to return soon, but there isn't any pressure for her to return as soon as November 17th, but the door is open for her to do so if she feels ready and comfortable. However, it was noted in this report, which I think is quite telling, that, quote, none of the roster that we spoke with had heard from her as of Tuesday morning. So there is still a lot of mystery. There is still a lot of confusion as it comes to this Kylie Ray status with Impact Wrestling and whatever happened over the past weekend at Bound for Glory. Now, I must say, again, I was very critical of Impact Wrestling when this first happened. Obviously, the details at the time hadn't come to light, which have come to light now. I think looking at this now, looking at the, the situation when it comes to Kylie Ray, looking at the reports that we're seeing by the likes of Fightful and PW Insider and others, I must say, I think Impact Wrestling are handling this situation very, very well, or certainly at least the best that they can. This is obviously, obviously a very, very difficult situation and a very delicate situation. And honestly, I'll, I'll be completely frank here. I, I was unsure about talking about it again, making another video about it after the video I made uh, a couple of days ago discussing Kylie Ray's absence at Mount for Glory the past weekend because I saw some people saying, well, it's a private matter and you should leave her alone and uh, it, it, you shouldn't be talking about these kind of things. And again, I don't want to speculate. I don't want to speculate as to what the, the situation or the condition is of Kylie Ray right now. I don't think that's fair. And I'm, and I'm not going to say, oh, this is what's wrong with her, or this is what's going on with her, or she needs to do this, or Impact should do this, or she shouldn't be performing, all of that. I'm certainly not going to criticize her at all, because that isn't right and that isn't fair. In fact, what I think we need to see here, and I think this is why this video like this and why the reports like the, the one that Fightful have made are so important, I think there needs to be a more open discussion just to be honest, and this is outside of wrestling, in general society when it comes to things like mental health and mental illness. So I think videos like this are very, very important. Now, in my opinion, which as always on this channel, this is just what this is, it's my opinion. Impact, in my opinion, is absolutely doing the right thing by not pressuring Kylie Ray. That is the very least at this point that they can do. By saying to her, look, our next tape-ins are about three or four weeks time, November 17th, 
Uh, they're saying to her, you don't have to attend, you don't have to perform, you can just, if you want to attend, you can stay backstage or you can, you don't ha even have to come to the building, you don't even have to travel to Nashville, Tennessee. There is absolutely no pressure. Do things on your own time and see how you feel at the time. I think if you step into the shoes of Kylie Ray, if you, if you can, uh, I think that's very reassuring and I think that's very helpful from the likes of Impact Wrestling, who Kylie Ray was obviously going through a tough time at the moment for them to say, look, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Your spot's here. Uh, the, if you want to perform, you can. If you don't, that's totally fine too. I think that certainly helps reduce the pressure of the situation and certainly helps the situation at hand here. And plus, in addition to that, like the report by Fightful said, there is no bad blood here. There is no ill will from Impact Wrestling towards Kylie Ray, which again, I think is an absolute credit to the promotion because unfortunately, some promotions and some fans aren't like that. Some people for and this is crazy to me, but some people are holding this against Kylie Ray, like she did something wrong. If there's something wrong with her, she didn't do something wrong. It's it's people's health. These things these things happen. And the most important thing is that Kylie Ray is okay. The most important thing is that Kylie Ray is healthy. Forget about the matches. Forget about our feelings in terms of, oh, a fan, I wanted to see that match. The most important thing is the health of the performer. That is always paramount. That is always the top priority there. And if you are experiencing some mental health struggles or a period of mental illness, it shouldn't be held against you. It shouldn't be held against you. It, being mentally ill, whether it's an acute episode or chronic episodes or for a short time, for a long time, whatever, it shouldn't be frowned upon and it shouldn't be uh, looked on as you being weak or you not being able to handle the spotlight or anything like that. Experiencing a bout of mental illness is just as legitimate as any any physical illness. If Kylie Ray missed Bound for Glory on Saturday because she got deathly sick and she was vomiting or she had a fever or whatever, you wouldn't have people saying, oh, she's unreliable or oh, she can't handle the spotlight. No, you wouldn't. You would say, oh, she's got sick. I hope she gets better soon. So you shouldn't be saying that if, if there is legitimately a mental health issue here, which again, I don't know. I don't know, but I don't, again, I don't want to speculate. So I, I don't, I think some of the criticisms that I've seen is, is totally unfair, totally unfair. The reports are stating, of course, that Kylie Ray isn't injured. Physically, she's fine. So again, that's a positive. You have to look at positives in these kind of situations. And we know that Kylie Ray has had some battles with mental health. It was the reason why she requested her release from AEW uh, back in, when was that, 20, 2019. And I don't know if that's linked to what happened at the weekend. I don't know if that's linked to what happened at Bound for Glory on Saturday. Again, I don't want to speculate on that. That's That's not fair. It's just... It's an odd situation, and um, as I mentioned in my previous video, we're learning more and more about it every day, it feels like, and I'm sure there'll be more reports coming out about it. I think Impact Wrestling are handling, handling it very, very well. And as I mentioned previously, Impact Wrestling didn't want to make up a reason at Bound for Glory or why Kylie Ray isn't here, because they didn't know. They didn't know the situation, and this past week at the tapings, they've kept the storyline open-ended because they hope she can come back. They want her to come back. The, the company isn't holding this against her, again, which is a massive credit to Impact Wrestling. And you have to look at the side of Impact Wrestling as well. It's a really unenviable position for them. It really is. And I think they've handled it absolutely tremendously. And again, I was first to criticize Impact at the weekend, and maybe we were all too premature to, to judge them because we didn't know the situation at the time. But Impact Wrestling, without a doubt, has handled this phenomenally well. Phenomenally well. And the fact that they're reducing the pressure on Kylie Ray, there's no ill will. And they're saying you can come back whenever you want. Your spot's there. You're still valued. We want to, to have you here. We want you to be safe and happy. That is, that is a credit. And any employer should follow suit with how Impact are doing that. So... You have, to, you have to credit them. And as I mentioned previously, I, I sympathize with everyone involved because any situation like this is a, is a really difficult situation to deal with here. And as I mentioned, the fact that Kylie Ray is physically fine, that is, that is very good. And you notice the word physically there. And it's just, it's a horrible situation to hear about. And it's, it's very sad and it's horrible to hear that anyone, uh, especially someone with the talent and the personality of a Kylie Ray is, going through what appears to be some form of an issue here and people are saying well there's you don't know there's an issue or you don't know this and you don't know that you're speculating again I don't want to speculate however it's obvious that there is some form of an issue there we don't know specifically what it is but we do know there's an issue there if there was no issue there Kylie Ray would have been there on Saturday at Bound for Glory and she would have competed 
So obviously the fact she wasn't there and the fact these reports are coming out, multiple reports and more details are coming out, um, it's obvious that there is some form of an issue there. So the most important thing here, like I said, is that Impact, there's no butting of heads when it comes to this. Impact Wrestling are being incredibly supportive and incredibly helpful when it comes to Kylie Ray. They're not pressuring her. There is no ill will. So the main thing we have to hope here is that Kylie Ray recovers soon and that she is, come, whenever she comes back, again, there is no pressure or rush for her to come back, certainly no rush or pressure, is that whenever she does come back, and she will come back, that she returns healthier and happier than ever. And as I mentioned in this video, look, we all love wrestling. We all love wrestling and we all love great matches and great performers, and we, if you're watching this video, there's likely you like Impact Wrestling too. And Deonna Perazzo versus Kylie Ray would have been an absolutely fantastic match at Bound for Glory. I mentioned that for me, it was arguably the sleeper match of the show, and I was really, really excited for it. But in the grand scheme of things, when it comes to what is essentially an entertainment show, people's health, people's mental health, people's mindset and, and frame of mind is far more important, far more important than our entertainment. Our sense of entertainment and desire to watch a match pales in comparison to someone's health and well-being. And I just, I, I thought about this a few times over the last few days or ever since, certainly ever since Bound for Glory on Saturday, just can you imagine being in that environment on Saturday? It must have been incredibly concerning for everyone involved backstage at Bound for Glory when they didn't know what's going on, when they couldn't contact Kylie Ray, when they couldn't find her. That is, has to be, that has to be incredibly concerning and, and uh, just a terrible and awful situation. And because you don't know, you're completely in the dark. And I think Impact, looking back on it now, having a bit of hindsight, which of course is a wonderful thing, I felt that Impact dealt with the situation on Saturday the best that they could. I think they've certainly handled uh, the situation after the fact now when it comes to the contact of Kylie Ray and keeping the storyline open-ended. I mean, to be honest, the storyline, it doesn't matter. It's the health and well-being of Kylie Ray is the most important thing here. And I think Impact have handled that very, very well. So hopefully, you know, she might be back for the next set of tapings. But personally, Again, I don't want to put a date or a time on it because personally, I hope that whenever she comes back, because she will come back, she's a top wrestler, she's a fighter, she's a warrior, she's been through things like this before and um, she will come back stronger and better than ever. And this isn't a time to, to rush anything like this. This isn't a time to say, oh, she needs to come back at the next tapings or what about the storyline? Storylines come and go, matches come and go. What's most important is the health and well-being of the performer. And I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but it is absolutely, it's paramount. It's the absolute fact of the situation. This isn't a time to rush. This isn't a time to saying, oh, she has to return next week or she has to return in a couple of weeks. Kylie Ray should return when she feels physically and mentally ready, when she feels in the right mind space and, and, and all of those other factors when she feels ready. Her spot and her place will be there for her when she comes back. Impact have reassured her that by putting no pressure on her. So hopefully whenever she does come back, she'll be she'll be better than ever and she'll be ready. Uh, but of course, my thoughts are with her at the moment. Everyone here at WrestleNews 365, his thoughts are with Kylie Ray at the, at the moment. And hopefully she just re returns happier and healthier than ever. And she gets back to what she does best. And that's having great matches, entertaining people and putting smiles on people's faces. So my thoughts are with her right now. And I have no doubt she'll come through all and be better and stronger than ever. So... Of course, as always, uh, what are your thoughts on the whole situation when it comes to Kylie Ray, the latest updates on her status with the company with Impact Wrestling? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I'll be sure to respond and reply to all of your comments. Really enjoy interacting with you guys, chatting about Impact Wrestling here on the channel. We do daily Impact Wrestling videos, so be sure to get involved in the discussion with the community below. If you have enjoyed this video, please do smash a like on the like button. It really does help us out here on YouTube. Go up the rankings and get into people's recommendation feeds if they haven't seen our videos previously. But most importantly, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to Rest News 365. You can do that by clicking the bottom right hand corner of the screen right now. Or if you wait a few seconds, there'll be a subscribe button at the end of this video, along with another video for you to watch. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video on the right there to watch our next video, or click the bottom there to subscribe, or the bottom right-hand corner. Thank you very much, and I'll speak to you again very soon.